hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't own the rights to this music, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's all worth it. Amen. Hallelujah. Fire on the altar tonight. Today is October the 7th. Hallelujah. And this is fire on the altar. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to allow this song to play in your hearing. And then we're going to get right into what God is allowing us to do on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Will you see why God made you wait so yes, long? Yes, Lord. He was yes, showing Lord. you how to be strong. Request becomes your praise report. I know sometimes you don't understand it because his ways are different. Yes. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. It will be worth it. Hallelujah. Everything that we go through in life. Hallelujah. We might not understand it now. Hallelujah. But when God finishes with what he's doing with his plan, amen, we will understand it better by and by. Hallelujah. Come on and let's give God some glory on tonight. Hallelujah. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Hallelujah. There is nobody like our God. Hallelujah. He is God all by himself. Hallelujah. And we thank him on tonight for being God. Hallelujah. And being God all by himself. Hallelujah. We thank him for the Holy Ghost. We thank him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on and bless the Lord with me tonight because he is worthy he's deserving of our praise come on and give him glory on tonight hallelujah come on and magnify his name come on hallelujah and bless him let him know how much you love him on tonight let him 
know how much you adore him on tonight. Come on, hallelujah, and love on Jesus tonight. Let's love on Yahweh, hallelujah. Let's love on Jehovah Jireh, hallelujah. He is our provider. We thank you on tonight, God, hallelujah, for everything that you have done and everything that you're doing. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for allowing us, hallelujah, to gather just one more time. Hallelujah, God, to seek your face on tonight, God. Uh, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do. We thank you for what you've already done. We appreciate you. We love you. We adore you. And we place absolutely no one before you, God. We just want you to know, God, hallelujah, not our will, but let your will be done in our lives, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you for your word on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you for the word that's going to come forth. Uh, we thank you for the men and women that have joined us on tonight, God. Uh, we appreciate you. We love you. We adore you in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I pray now, Lord God. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Let your glory reign in this place. Uh, let your glory fill this place on tonight, God. Begin to speak, God, what we need to hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and we thank you, God. Forgive us of every sin that we've committed against you by word, thought, or deed, God. If we've done something that has not been pleasing in your sight, we pray for your forgiveness now, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know. I don't know how many of y'all was on the line on last night uh, on Bible study when I said that God was up to something. Right. And I said that the testimonies were going to come forth. Right. Well, I had no idea that I would be the one on today to testify that God showed up. Hallelujah. He did just what he said he was going to do. Hallelujah. I said I was standing in expectation of something, but I did not know he was going to show up today. Hallelujah. I know he said it and I know I received it. But I really didn't know it was for me until today. Hallelujah. And so I just want to tell y'all, stay tuned because there is more to come. Amen. God is beginning to show up in the lives of his people. Amen. We have stood the test of time. We have waited. Hallelujah. Some of us have waited patiently without the murmuring and the complaining. Now, we did make our petitions and requests made known unto him. And I know, I don't know about y'all, but I went to God and I said, Lord, I'm feeling a certain type of way. But I changed the way I normally respond to a thing. Normally, I call everybody and tell everybody how I'm feeling. I didn't do that this time. I talked directly to God, the only one who could help me anyway. Amen. And so he showed up on today. Hallelujah. And so I'm telling y'all, y'all begin to speak what you expect him to do. Do not murmur and complain and begin to forfeit your promise. Amen. We can't forfeit our promise. We got a word over our head. Remember, God said that to us last night. There's a word that is over our head. Amen. And it's get ready to come to pass. Hallelujah. Okay. So let me tell you, God has been speaking to me today. I told y'all I was taking notes on last night. Now, I didn't know, mm -hmm. I didn't know what the Lord was going to do with what I heard on last night. So God had me go back to the book of Genesis, because remember, our Bible study is called Back to the Basics Boot Camp Bible Study, right? And so I said, okay, Lord, I don't know what you have me to say to the people today. You speak through me. That's always my prayer. I studied to know the word of God, but on today, he said, I need you to specifically study this and, and ask a question to my people. Okay. So he took me into Genesis, the first chapter, right? And so I started reading at verse one and it talks about how God began to form the heaven and the earth. He brought it all together, right? In seven days, right? He did all of that with strategic planning and preparation because that was another word that god gave me he said it's time for my people to prepare okay so we got to be remember i said we got to be in the right posture we got to be in the right position and now we got to prepare for what's to come amen and so i started reading 
And I said, okay, Lord, what are you trying to get me to get? So he told me to go down to verse 30, I'm sorry, verse 26. Genesis 1, verse 26. And it says, and God said, let us make man in our image. Okay? After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now, the question that God had me to ponder was, okay, God, if you was on the earth, and you was doing all the work, you get down to verse 26, and you say, let us make man. So my question is, who is us? <laughs> here with you at the time where you was creating and forming the earth so i had to make sure i wasn't crazy and i called my apostle i said okay apostle i got a question when god said let us make man who was god referring to i said now i'm thinking because so as it is in the beginning it is in the end the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost was here. But he don't tell you about the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost prior to this verse. Amen? And so she said, oh, you absolutely correct. I said, come on here, Jesus. And so, in other words, he said, I took care of all of this prior to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost helping me to create what I need to be in my image. Lord, hallelujah. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on one second. I got Minister David calling in now. Hello? You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. Who's calling from? David An inmate at the Maryland Correctional. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the prison ministry. Hallelujah. Thank you for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Devil, you are a liar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. And yes, thank, you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You enter. Thank me. you, Jesus. There are four participants in the car. Hallelujah. I apologize, y'all. I don't know what happened. The devil is a liar. The phone cut everybody off. And Minister David is going to call back. Amen. Um, but like I was saying, I, I was like, okay, Lord, you are bad somebody. Because he said, let us make man. Meaning that all three components came together and craft, handcrafted and designed, amen, man in God's image. Hallelujah. That means he took all three components that came together as one and he created us hallelujah i said okay lord i'm gonna need you to help me so now i need y'all to go to isaiah 43 and 7 <laughs> come on jesus jesus yes lord god hallelujah Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah 47. I'm sorry, 43 and 7. Okay. And God said, Isaiah 43 and 7. Even everyone that is called by my name. For I have created for my glory. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. Hallelujah. He formed us. He made us. He created us. Amen. For his glory. Hallelujah. Remember, Apostle Marshall was talking about this earlier. Amen. On the gathering this morning. How God formed us and he created us. Amen. And then he said, bring forth the blind people that have eyes. And the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together. And let the people be assembled. Who are among them. Can declare this. And show us former things. 
let them bring forth their witnesses and they may be justified or let them hear and say it is truth. Amen. So in other words, he allows witnesses to be able to witness what he has done. He brings us all together. Amen. And we are allowed to witness what he has done. Amen. Because he created us for his glory. Hallelujah. And so then he gave me John 4 and 7. Let me go to John 4 and 7. Amen. And it says. Amen. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on one second. David's calling back. Let's try this again. Hello. You have to God. You will not be chucked. An inmate at a Maryland Correctional Facility. This call will be recorded and monitored. If you wish to block any future calls of this nature, dial 7. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, okay. John 4 and was it 4 7? Give me one second, y'all. I am excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Woo, God is up to something. Yes, Lord. He is definitely up to something. Hallelujah. And I'm excited. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to be one in the number. Amen. I'm not going to be left behind. Hallelujah. Amen. And I don't think this is. Hallelujah. No, this is not the right scripture. I'm sorry. I believe it's 1 John 4 and 7. I'm sorry, y'all. I think I wrote it down wrong. I was so excited about what the Lord was speaking on the day. I didn't know what to do with myself. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now I'm going to paraphrase it. It basically just says God is love. Hallelujah. And so if we are made in his image, why are some of us so nasty? Why we got so much anger on the inside? Why we don't know how to treat people. Even when people treat us wrong. Look at what they did to our Lord and Savior. Amen. Look at how they treated him. He clearly said in the word. They that, that say Hosanna, Hosanna. Those the same ones that came back and crucified him. So why do we think. Amen. That we going to be treated any different. If we was made in his image. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Okay, here we go. It's 1 John 4 and 7. And it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And um, and everyone that loveth is born of God. Y'all hear that? Everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Hey, amen. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. That was 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Amen. And so if we are made in his image and we are, if we are created like him and we are, then why, amen, is there so much hell going on inside of us when we already know, amen, that this is supposed to happen? The Bible says these light afflictions that are only but for a little while. Amen. They're only for a little while. I think what happens. Apostle said this earlier. When we start murmuring and complaining. We begin to delay what God is trying to do for us. When you think about the children of Israel, they started murmuring and complaining. And what could have took or was supposed to only take 11 days, it took 40, was it 40 years? 40 days? Amen. Amen. Because they murmured and complained because they did not follow the instructions. First of all, they did not even recognize he was God. How the world you do that? He created us in his own image. And we don't know who he is. Oh, something is wrong. He made us to be just like him, but we don't even know who he is. Something is wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, Lord, tonight, hallelujah, God has a plan. There's a strategic plan for his people. There was a strategic plan why he created us. There's a strategic plan why he made us in his image. Amen. And it was for Amen. his glory. He made it real clear. I just read it in Genesis. It was for his glory, not for us. He created us in his image for his purpose and for his plan. Our plans don't matter. We shouldn't even have no plans if they don't come from him. Hallelujah. Okay. 
I'm going to James <laughs> 3, and I believe it is verse 9. Oh, no, no, no. Starting at verse 6. Let's start at verse 6. Because I saw this earlier and I said, okay, Lord, what you saying to your people? Verse 6, it says, and the tongue is a fire. Oh, I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> and the tongue is a fire. This little thing, this little pink thing inside of our mouth is so deadly. Amen. It could kill or it could bring life. Now, I'm going to ask y'all the question. What y'all going to use y'all tongue to do? I'm going to use mine for life. I, no more death. Amen? Amen. We've caused death long enough. Amen? Okay, let's go back. And it says, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body. Y'all hear that? Our tongue messes up our whole body. What we speak out our mouth, it messes up the whole body. This little pink thing in our mouth messes up the whole body. We don't even realize what we be saying sometimes. Amen. So now it is very, very crucial that we be careful what we speak out of our mouths. Amen. It says, and set it on fire the course of nature. Oh my God. So our tongue deters us from where we going. If we ain't speaking right, we're causing a detour in where God's trying to take us. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. And it is set on fire of hell. My God, today. Verse 7 says, For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed. And have been tamed of mankind. Hallelujah. I don't know who that is, but please mute your phone. Please mute your phone. Verse 8 says, but the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly, evil, full of deadly poison. Y'all hear this? Our tongue is unruly. It's evil. It's full of deadly poison. So now what y'all going to do now that you know that this is what the tongue caused? Uh -uh. Hallelujah. Verse 9 says, Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't cursing nobody else with my tongue. Amen. I ain't cursing nobody else with my tongue. Y'all hear that? I'm testifying. I'm not cursing nobody else with my tongue. The person that cut me off, I'm not going to say, Lord, they need to run into a tree because I said it. I've said it. I'm not saying it no more. I've said it. Amen. I'm not saying, oh, Lord, get them because they did bop, 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 bop. I'm getting ready to speak so much life with my tongue. The devil's getting ready to be mad and it's going to back hell all the way up off of people. Amen. That's what God is calling us to do in this hour, to use our tongue for the right. Amen. Because we were created in his image. And if you look in this Bible, there is nowhere in this Bible where God, the Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost did any detriment to anybody. Now, there were some because of disobedience who had to suffer at the wrath and the hand of God. Amen. I ain't talking about them people. I'm talking about the ones who wanted to live right, who walked up right before God. Hallelujah. That's what that's the kind of person I want to be. I want to do the right thing for God. I don't want to keep using my tongue for the wrong things. I don't want my body to be defiled because my tongue is speaking something negative. Ponder this thought. Did anybody ever stop to think? Because now it says, I read it in the scripture in James where it talked about the tongue defiles the body. Could that be the reason why some people walking around sick? Because they didn't know what to say out their mouth? Could that be the reason why our families suffering so many curses? Because nobody knew what to say out their mouth? Could that be the reason why there's so much disconnect and turmoil and evil going through families and friends and Neighbors and things like that because somebody did not know what to say out their mouth. 
We got to rethink this thing, y'all. Because I don't know about y'all, but when I read that today, I said, oh, Holy Ghost. Okay, Lord, I'm going to need you to help me with this one. Help me understand. Help me to do better. Hallelujah. Because I don't want to be the reason why anything happens to anybody. Amen. I really want to live the way Christ has called me to live. Amen. I want to do what he's called me to do. I really want to understand the fact that he said, I created you in my image. What is his image? He's love. He's peace. He's joy. Amen. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. He is out to save souls. Amen. He's not out here trying to destroy people. And so this is what God is calling for in this hour. Will the real men and women of God please stand up? Will the soldiers for Christ, amen, who's willing to get on the front line and go after those, amen, men and women who have lost their way. Will you really stand up, amen? It's time. It's time to stand up. It's time to put the whole armor of God on and stand up. God don't want no coward soldiers. Amen. He needs you on the front line ready to do battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so as we get ready to go into prayer. Our prayer on tonight. Our prayer on tonight. Two things. One. We want God to prepare us, amen, for what's to come, what he's doing, where he's taking us. And two, we want God to make sure that we are walking in the image that he has created us to walk in. Amen. We want to be more like Christ. We got to die daily to this flesh and be more like Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Before we go into prayer, is there anybody that would like to add to anything that I've said? Um, um, if you want to make a comment, let's do that now. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we get ready to bombard heaven. Amen. So that we can get in position and the right posture for preparation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If there's no one, come on, let us start praying. Unmute your phones. Come on, y'all. Let's worship. Let's go into prayer. Let's get into God's presence on tonight. Hallelujah. He's waiting to hear from us on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and lift your voices on tonight. Ya bande ke baso mande ya re ke basurunda ba yanda ban toko ra ba sele mando wa ele mande da bando ya bande ra ka bando ya bande le baso ya mande God we thank you re ke baso na mando ya ele baso ko ra ba sele mando God we praise you e mande ke baso mande we give you honor we give you glory Jesus ele mando ya baso ko ra mande le baso wa ina mande ke basuna mando hallelujah god e basoya mande le bakurunda baye re ke basoya mando thank you jesus e mande le basoya mando ikabase ke batora mande le basoya ina mando ya basele batoa re ke bandu kurunda bayanda manse god we bless your name hallelujah god e basoya mande re ke bandu kurunda bayanda mansoa ele mando kora mande le basoya mando e ke Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We bless your name on tonight. We bless your name on tonight, Jesus. Reke bando kora bande le basu mande ya. Reke bando kora basse le mando. God, we want to thank you for the word on tonight, God. Thank you, Hallelujah, for your word on tonight, Jesus. Oh God, we pray now in the name of Jesus that something that was heard on tonight, God, it would prick the spirits and the hearts and the minds of your people on tonight. Tonight, Jesus, I pray now, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
uh, that you would cover us with the blood, God. Uh, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would have thine own way. But truly, you are the part of God. Uh, we are the clay. Shape us and mold us and make us to be uh, everything you would have us to be in the mighty name of Jesus. God, teach us how to put on the whole armor of God uh, that we may be able to withstand the wiles of the enemy. Oh, God, I pray now in the name of Jesus. Uh, you come on and sup with us on tonight, God. Uh, send your glory down in this place on tonight, Jesus. Send your glory in this place on tonight, Lord. Uh, we need your glory, God. We need your glory, Jesus. Uh, send your spirit down, God. Uh, we invite you in on tonight, God, uh, to come and sup with us in the name of Jesus. We need you, Lord God. We need you, God, as you begin to prepare us for war, God, as you begin to prepare us for battle, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, cleanse us from the inside out, God. Uh, we want to be more like you, God, in the name of Jesus. Remove everything from us that's not like you, God. Take it away, Jesus, Jesus. Take it away. Take it away, Lord God. Take it away. If it's not like you, Jesus, take it away. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we need rest restoration on tonight God uh, give us restoration on tonight uh, restore us back to you God in the name of Jesus oh Lord God we need you Jesus uh, yes Lord God we need you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus we need you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus we need you God uh, come on and sup with us on tonight uh, we invite you in the room God uh, send your presence in the room Jesus send your presence in the room to come and sup with us God uh, we thank you God in the name of Jesus hallelujah Jesus Jesus hallelujah make us in your image God like you created us to be make us in your image Jesus like you created us to be allow us to kill this flesh daily God in the mighty name of Jesus teach us how not to murmur and complain God hallelujah but to give you praise to give you honor and to give you glory even when we go through the fiery trials hallelujah that have come along to test us God I pray in the name of Jesus you teach us how to stand in the midst of adversity God giving you glory God giving you honor giving you praise in the name of Jesus oh God I pray now cover everybody on this line tonight God cover them in the name of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus all over our minds regulate our minds Lord God in the name of Jesus uh, as we keep our minds stayed on you uh, regulate our minds in the name of Jesus uh, regulate our minds in the name of Jesus Ebando speak to our hearts today God speak to our hearts today Jesus we need a word from you tonight God oh God we need a word from you we thank you Lord God hallelujah for the word you said for I know the thoughts that I think towards you thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you to an expected end oh God we are standing in expectation of everything that you're doing in our lives I pray in the name of Jesus I pray in the name of Jesus God have your way as only you can do have your way Jesus Jesus have your way God we yield to you tonight God we yield to you tonight Jesus we surrender our alls to you on tonight we surrender our to you on tonight, God. We turn our will over for your will in the name of Jesus. We turn our will over in 
the name of Jesus. Ha, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, Father God, not our will, but let your will be done in our lives. God, you get all the glory, God, in the name of Jesus. Rekemando, rekebasele mande, rukushabando yabandele basoa, elamande kebandoa, isamande kebasoya mando. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and lift your voices on tonight. God is waiting to hear from you. We thank you, Yahweh. Rekemando, we thank you, Yahweh. Rekebasoya mando, we thank you, Yahweh. Yelemando, rekebasoya, we thank you, El Elyom. We thank you, Adonai, rekebasoya mando. We thank you, Jehovah Shalom. We thank you, Jehovah Rapha, rekebasoya mande. We thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Simando, rekebasula mande. Oh God, I pray. I pray for your people, Lord, tonight, Jesus. Oh Lord God, have mercy upon us, God. In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon us, God. In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, reke bando ko rabaseya le mando ya mando imande ke baso mande ya rukusha bande le baso ya mando elementu kurunda bayanda bande ya rukusha bande la bando ya bande ha ina mando ya baso le mando ya eke baso mande ke baso ya le baso ya God we thank you Hallelujah Jesus we thank you Jesus yes Lord. We thank you, Lord God. We stretch out in your presence on tonight, God. We stretch out in your presence, Jesus. We thank you for showing up, God. We thank you for showing our Lord. We thank you for having your way, Jesus. We thank you for having your way, God. Thank you for taking us back to the beginning and showing us what we needed to see. We thank you, hallelujah, that you created us in your image. We thank Thank you, Jesus, that you loved us so much, so God, uh, you made us to be like you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, we thank you on tonight. Uh, we don't take it for granted, God. Hallelujah, what you showed us in the word. Uh, now, God, allow us to apply, apply everything that we heard on tonight uh, to our daily living in the name of Jesus. Rekebando, rekebasile mando na mandele bakoa, ele mandele basoya mande. We thank you for miracles signs and wonders, God, uh, they're about to show up for us in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Uh, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Uh, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God. Ebando kora bande le baso ya mande. Le mando kora base mantu kurunda baye. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. If we had a thousand tongues, we could not thank you enough, God. Hallelujah. If we had a thousand tongues, we could not thank you enough. But we thank you on tonight, Lord God. We thank you for fire on the altar, God. We thank you for this time of refreshing and praying, God. We thank you in the name of Jesus for the ministries, God, that you have allowed us to be a part of, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the gathering, God. We thank you for prayer with Apostle Marshall, God. We thank you, hallelujah, for Minister David with prison ministry. We thank you even for the ministry marriage ministry that's about to come forth with Tracy and Tanya Simpson. Oh God, we thank you for why women cry. Huh? We thank you for the evangelist ministry, God. We thank you for everything that you placed our hands to touch in the name of Jesus. Huh? We thank you for evangelist Harley, God, huh? and what she does in her community. Oh God, we thank you for the men and women, God, huh? that have come together, God, hallelujah, to build the kingdom, God. Huh? We thank you, God, and we don't take it for granted, the connection that you've given us in this season and in this hour. God, we pray in the name 
of Jesus, Simando, that you continue, Father God, uh, to strengthen us in this hour, God, as we do the work that you've called us to do. Uh, continue to strengthen us now in the name of Jesus. Uh, continue to strengthen us now, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we need strength for the journey, God. Uh, we need strength for the journey, Jesus. Uh, oh, God, we even thank you uh, for the ministries that uh, Minister David does inside the institution. Uh, build your men up, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, build them up, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, as you are preparing, Father God, uh, to transition them home, God. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you begin to work on them now, God. Uh, and they come out, hallelujah, and they have fire, hallelujah, inside their belly. And it doesn't shut up in their bones. Uh, but they go and tell their family uh, what the Lord has done uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, Lord God, I pray for the men, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, as you are getting them back in their rightful position, uh, make them stand up, God, uh, and be who you called them to be uh, without any restrictions uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, Lord God, I thank you, hallelujah, for your men. Uh, I thank you for the men of God. Uh, I thank you for the men of God. Uh, I thank you for the men of God uh, in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Uh, yes, Lord God, teach them how to lead. Uh, teach them how to lead well. Uh, teach them how to be the head like you called them to be. Uh, you said in your word, uh, they are the head and not the tail, above only and never beneath. Uh, teach them, Lord God, uh, the oracles of God. Uh, teach them your principles, Lord. Uh, give them your wisdom and your understanding uh, to lead their families in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, have your way uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and we thank you for what you're doing. Uh, we thank you for what you're doing. Uh, I even pray for the women that are connected to these men, God. Uh, teach us how to be submissive. Uh, teach us how to allow them to do what you told them to do. Uh, teach us how to stand back and let them lead. Uh, teach us how to know, hallelujah, God, when to hold and when to fold. Uh, teach us, Lord God, what we need to know as the women. Uh, you call for us to pray. Uh, you call for us to wail. Uh, you call for us to war, God. Teach us how to pray the right things for them. Uh, teach us how to pray correctly, Lord God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Teach us, God. You teach us, Jesus. You teach us, Lord God. We yield to your teaching on tonight. Reke baso ya mandele baso. Reke mando korabando ya bandele baso ya mande. God, we thank you. We thank you, hallelujah. We thank you, God. E basele mando. Eke baso mando ya bandele baso. God, teach us. Teach us how to be in the position you called us to be in. Teach us how not to overstep, God, but to be right where you need us to be. Teach us how to yield correctly and surrender the right way, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord God, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God, we thank you, Jesus. God, I pray for our children in the Mando Korabande Baso. I pray for our children, Jesus. Mando Korabande. I pray for our children, God. Keep them covered in the blood, God. Raise our children up, God. Because you even have work for them to do, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for our children, Jesus, Jesus, Emando, Reke Basukurunda Baye. I call on you, Yahweh, Yamando Kora Bandele Basoa. Wrap your arms around our children, Jesus, Emando Ko, Reke Basurunda Baye. They need a word from you, Lord God. Eba so Mandele Bakora Mande. Grab a hold of our children, Jesus. Ilemando Kora Baselemando Kora Mande. Send your angels down, God, to it. Camp all around us 
We call on the heavenly host, God, to come and see about our children, Jesus. God, we need you on tonight. We need you on tonight, Jesus. We need you on tonight, Jesus. We need you on tonight, Jesus. We need you, we need you, we need you, Jesus. We need you, we need you, we need you, Jesus. We need you, we need you, we need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus, Jesus. And we need you, we need you, we need you, Jesus. We need you, 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 we Come and see about us, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. We thank you on tonight, Father God. We thank you on tonight, God. We pray, hallelujah. We pray for families everywhere, God. Please grab a hold of the families on tonight, God. Please, 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 please grab a hold of the families on tonight, Jesus. We need you to grab a hold of the families on tonight, God. We need you to come and get all up in the families, God. Whatever it is that's going on, if it's not like you, fix it, God, in the name of Jesus. We need you to call the family back together. Together. No more separation in the family, but we need togetherness in the family. Huh? We need the family to come back together in the name of Jesus. We need the family to come back together in the name of Jesus. I pray for the parents, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for aunts and uncles. Huh? I pray for cousins and nieces and nephews, God. I pray for the entire family as a whole, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray. I pray for these students in school. Hallelujah. With all these shootings that's taking place, the devil is a liar. God, I pray that you cover these schools in the name of Jesus. Send your angels down God to encamp all around these schools God to cover and keep these children in all their ways God I pray Lord God that you come and show up God and show out and show off Lord have your way in the name of Jesus God we need you like never before we thank you for coming to see about us tonight we thank you for your word, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. 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 Emando. Hallelujah, God. We thank you. We thank you and we bless you, God. We praise you. We give you all the honor and we give you all the glory, God, because truly there is nobody like you. God, we thank you on tonight. We just pray, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, that there was something that was said on tonight that it would touch the lives of your people, God. Rekebando rabande le baso yamande. Ekebando rabande le baso koronda baya. Elemando, God. Esebando koramande le basurunda baya. Ye baso koramande le baso yamande. Ekebando kurunda bande le basu kurunda baya. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, God. 
We bless your name. We bless your name tonight, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ebando kora mandele baso. Ebando kora mandele baso ya mande. God, we thank you on tonight. We thank you on tonight, Jesus. Ebando kora mandele baso. We thank you on tonight, God. We thank you on tonight, Jesus. We thank you on tonight, God. We thank you on tonight, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you on tonight, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you on tonight, Lord. We thank you on tonight, God. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, God. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we thank you. We just want to say thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hey, God. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. We just want to say thank you. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, God. We thank you, Jesus, Jesus. We just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you. So we thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We just want to say thank you. Yes, Lord God, we just want to say thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Hey, God, I thank you, Jesus. I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Hey, God, I thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I just want to say thank you. Yes, Lord God, I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you. Yes, Lord God, I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, ha. thank you, Jesus. I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you. Yes, Lord God, hallelujah. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody else just want to say thank you? Hallelujah. I'm not asking for nothing on tonight. I'm just telling them thank you. Hallelujah. Thanking him for the word that came forth. Thanking him for letting us know, for reminding us we were made in his image. Hallelujah. For reminding us the way that he's expecting us to respond to our situations. Hallelujah. I just want to thank him. Hallelujah. Because he did not have to let us know. Hallelujah. What he wanted us to know in the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, but he came forth and he told us, hallelujah. So I just want to thank him for that, hallelujah. I just want to thank him for always being ever so present, hallelujah. Even when it doesn't feel like he's there, he's there, hallelujah. Even when I think he didn't turn his back, he hasn't. He's standing with open arms waiting for me to run and rush right in, hallelujah. And so I just want to tell him thank you on tonight. I just want to tell him thank you on tonight. I just want to say thank you on tonight, God. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank you. 
Hallelujah. I just want to thank you. I just want to say thank you, Lord. With my hands lifted up, I say thank you, Lord. My mouth is filled with praise. I say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Rekebando korabatele mandele batoya mandeya. Ekebaso mandoya mande. We thank God. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank him on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank him. We give him honor. We give him glory. We give him praise. Hallelujah. For everything that our ears have heard on tonight and our hearts have felt. Hallelujah. I thank him for the word that I got all day long on today. Hallelujah. I thank him for being ever so present on today, keeping me from hurt, harm, and danger. Amen. I thank him for allowing me to get into his presence on today. Hallelujah. And, and study the word and for him to speak to me on today. I am so grateful. Hallelujah. That he blew into my nostrils this morning. I, and I became a living being one more time just to get it right. I thank him that he felt it not robbery hallelujah to allow me to live hallelujah to make sure that i am living according to the word hallelujah i thank god on tonight is anybody else grateful on tonight is anybody else grateful on tonight come on and let's bless the lord hallelujah come on and bless him hallelujah 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. God, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for tonight, God. We thank you for tonight. We give you honor and we give you glory, God. We thank you for loving us enough, God, to just put us back in your word. We thank you for taking us back to the beginning and showing us where it all started. Yamando kora mande le baso yamande ke baso mande re ke baso. We thank you that your promises are yea and amen, God. Hallelujah. We thank you that you loved us so much. So even when we walked through the valley of the shadow of death, we were never alone. You was there with us all the time, God, and we thank you for that. We thank you that you've been here all the time, God. We thank you that you never left us, Lord God. You never left us nor forsake us. You was with us all the time, and we thank you, God. We are so grateful, Lord, tonight, God, for your presence. We're so grateful that you showed up and loved us like you did, God. We thank you for being a God of love. We thank you for being a God of love. We thank you for being a God of love. Hallelujah, we thank you for being a God of love. Hallelujah, we thank you for being a God of love. We thank you for being a God of love. Where would we be if you didn't love us? Where would we be if you didn't love us, God? But we thank you for being a God of love and loving us like you do, Jesus. We thank you, hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank Thank you, hallelujah. God, we thank you. We thank you, hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for being a God of love. We thank you for being a God of love, hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you for being a God of love. We thank you for being a God of love. You loved us even when we were messed up and jacked up, God. You loved us even when we murmured and complained. You loved us through our affli afflictions and situations, God, and we thank you. You didn't let anything turn you away from loving us. God, teach us how to love like you love. Teach us how to love like you love, God. Teach us how to love like you love. Lord, please teach us how to love like you love. Oh, God, we thank you. We are so grateful on tonight. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. 
We thank you. We thank you for your love, God. We thank you for never turning your back on us, God. Even when we turned our back on you, you still loved us through it all, God. Hallelujah. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you. We don't take it for granted on tonight, God, that you are teaching us about the love that you have for us, God, and the love that you have for your people. Teach us how to love the right way, God. Teach us how to love the right way, Lord. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for tonight. God, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, God. I pray, I pray, Lord God, that as we marinate on your word, God, as we allow it to rest in our spirit, God, that we would begin to apply it every day, God. Hallelujah. I pray that when we come up on somebody, even on tonight or even tomorrow, God, that we show them love. Hallelujah. No matter what in the name of Jesus. I pray, I pray, God, that they would see you in us. <laughs> I pray that they would see you in us, God. We don't always display you the right way, but I pray from this day forward, they would see you in us. I pray, Lord God, that this word changes our perspective to be what you have called us to be in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, and I bless you and I praise you. I praise you for each and every one that joined on tonight, God. I pray that you would do something supernatural for them by this time tomorrow. The testimonies are rolling in. Allow more testimonies by this time tomorrow, God. Show up and show out and show off as only you can do, God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we bless you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who God is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So at this time, I am opening the floor. Amen. If there's a scripture, there's a song, if something you just, God is burning in your spirit to say, please do so at this time. We need whatever God has for us on tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, God. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Uh, he just takes my breath away right as quick as he gives it to me. I don't know how else to say it except that he's just, there's no words, amazing, awesome, terrific. I mean, it's, there are no words, not even in the Spanish language where one English word can mean five different things in my tongue, of my native tongue. Yeah, I cannot, I, I looked up in three different dictionaries in my native tongue there aren't still enough words in the Spanish dictionary mm -hmm. to, to tell me how even um, may, there's no word, I don't know. So he's just so amazing. But, yes. um, just, I have to just say that this morning prayer line was just amazing. Yes. And it allowed me to bask in the spirit and his presence throughout the whole day to the point that I slept my day right up until like 6 30 this mm. afternoon amen I mean, that was laid out <laughs> laid out amen i left down for that to know what we need and it was such a sound profound sleep like i didn't even i didn't even know that the day went by but i'm, I'm grateful and i'm thankful and um just he's amazing and i'm at in greater expectation to what he's getting ready to do in our lives and the many people's lives so i'm just super excited i'm just super excited amen amen, amen. <laughs> to god be the glory amen hallelujah amen. i just come i just want to say that i thank god 
for this line, and I thank God for everyone that's on here. I thank God that you reached out to me today, Ted, to, um, Simpson. I really appreciate it. And I also thank God for Pastor Francesca Williams for calling me and telling me what God said. The word that he gave her to give to me because it was ever so true, and I thank God for her. Amen. And for that word. I thank God just for everyone that's on here. And, and I just want us to continue to do what we did for God because we don't know when somebody is down and when somebody is going through. And sometimes just a little hello and are you okay will make their day. Yes. Amen. 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 To God be the glory, Evangelist Meaty. Amen. Is there another? Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there another? Amen. Hallelujah. Minister David, are you still here? Yes, I am. Okay. I just wanted to make sure my phone went black so I can't see the screen. <laughs> Amen. Is there another amen? If not, we are getting ready to close out. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody get ready to say something. Hey, Apostle. Good evening, everyone. Amen. You know, it's a blessed day to be in the presence of the Lord. And even as you were expounding on the word and your worship tonight, that God takes you into the presence because that's when He ordained for all of us. He always loved us even before the foundation of the world. Yes. He loved what he created mm. and he will forever love. He will forever love us. And even as you were praying, and you, you know, that God to prick our hearts. Remember what he said in the word that love covers. Yes. A multitude. Amen. So love is the number one commandment. He said, We have not loved, we've done nothing. Mm. And remember he said, he said, for he first loved us. So I'm just grateful on tonight. You know, it, it, it's, it's refreshing to know that people really have a heart for God. Amen. You know, it, it's refreshing that, that, that we realize and recognize that we all need to draw closer to him, closer. Amen. To him. So I'm grateful on tonight. I don't want to say too much. But I just know that his presence is here. Amen. Because it's in all of us. Yeah. On each and every one of us. It's love. And then that's why he told us to walk. Walk in love. Because mm. he is love. Yeah. So Amen. no matter what we may do, he looks past our faults. Mm. And he see our need. So we just, and he said, as you love one another because that's important too like she said to just say hello or to check up on someone you know you don't know what nobody what the next person may be going through but it's a beautiful thing to have that Amen. and god said he would never leave us no forsake us so we can hold on to and his promises as you said just an amen and sometimes god just is 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 just waiting for us to come to him because he told us to do what cast on our cares yes. upon him amen for he cares for us yes amen amen, amen. hallelujah amen. amen is there another Amen. Well, 
if there is no one else, we are getting ready to close out. Amen. Uh, thank God for y'all um, joining on tonight. Amen. I bless God for each and every one of y'all. Amen. I anticipate the testimonies that keep coming. Amen. God is up to something and he's doing something great. Amen. Um, and I'm standing still in expectation, even with what he's already done. I'm standing in expectation of the more. Amen. It's, okay, I don't know who that is. Can you mute your phone, please? If you have background noise, please mute your phone. Amen. Um, and so I wanted to give um, a couple of announcements. Um, I have um, started recording um, all of the prayers and everything that God has been allowing us to do. Um, if you want to... Um, Go back and listen to the replay of anything that we've done thus far. Um, you can go to my YouTube channel and everything is there. Um, if you need the information, reach out to me. I can make sure you get it um, so that you can um, go and subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel because this is where all of the, the um, ministry things is going to be. It's going to be my page, my husband's page, and the church actually has a YouTube channel as well. Um, and so we're posting everything there. Amen. So I hope y'all go and subscribe. Amen. So that we can begin to share what God is doing with us with others. Amen. Hallelujah. And so um, tomorrow at 12 noon, we are back with Apostle Marshall. Amen. If you don't have the prayer line information, please reach out to me. I will make sure that you get it. Um, if you're on Facebook, it's on my Facebook page. I posted it. Amen. Um, if you're not on Facebook, reach out to me or someone that's connected to the line so you can get the information. You do not want to miss prayer. Amen. I'm telling you, it is going to be amazing. Amen. Because God has been taking us higher and higher. Amen. I don't know if y'all have been paying attention, but we've been going up and up and up. Even when the things have been happening in our life to make us feel like we've fallen down, we haven't. God has been taking us higher. Amen. Um, and so then next week, we are back Monday, Wednesday, and Friday um, with Elder Carter, the gathering at 7 a.m. via Zoom. Again, you can um, check my page for that information. It is posted. Um, Tuesday night, we have Take Back Tuesday Prison Ministry with Minister David Bias. Amen. At 7 p.m. on the prayer line. Amen. Um, and then we have um, Fire on the Altar next Friday. Um, and then next Saturday... After um, prayer with Apostle Marshall at 12 noon, 7 p.m., we got Why Women Cry. Amen. So we are back via Zoom. Um, if you need the information for any of these, please let me know. Everything has been posted on Facebook. God has commissioned me to make flyers. The flyers are out. I have been posting them. Please, y'all, get the flyers. Tag yourself in the flyer or share the flyer. Invite somebody. Amen. We are building God a kingdom. Amen. It's not about any one of us. It is about the Lord God that we serve. Amen. And building the kingdom of God and helping as many souls as we can. Amen. And so I don't have any other um, announcements. Um, Apostle, did you have any announcements? Did I get everything? Amen. Amen. The Bible study. Yes. So the Bible study also is on YouTube already. It has been uploaded to my page, my husband's page, and the church page. So it is there. Amen. Um, I do want to give this announcement. Um, Apostle confirmed this earlier. I knew I heard God say it, but I was trying not to hear God say it, but I knew this is what the Lord said. The Bible study is getting ready to go to twice a month. Amen. Amen. The Bible study Amen. is getting ready to go to twice a month. Amen. Um, I am going Amen. to get with Apostle and Elder Sykes to figure out how they want to do this. Amen. Um, and, you know, and let them go. Amen. I will have a date for everybody by next week um, as to when the next Bible study is going to be. Amen. So, y'all, I'm telling y'all, just get ready. 
because God is up to something. Amen. He's up to something and he's up to something great. Um, look out for what's to come, even with the uh, evangelist ministry. Um, the evangelist ministry is called um, the Church Without Walls Evangelist Ministry. Um, it has been up and running for some time now. God just officially gave me a name um, last year sometime. But um, God told me it's time to get back. And so now that I'm going back to work, hallelujah, I can get back out there and do what I need to do. Amen. Um, the one thing I love about yeah. God is I, I don't wait for people to do what God has called me to do. If God gives me the money, I'm yeah. going to make sure that what he called me to do with evangelism is done because that is my first baby. Amen. And so I have to be obedient to yeah. that. Amen. I'm you, excited for you. Amen. amen. To God be the glory. Yes. And I, and y'all, I'm telling y'all, keep praying about this building. I've gotten a second confirmation. Well, a third confirmation. Apostle came. Uh, wait a minute. I think it's four. Apostle came. Evangelist Harley came. Minister David came. And then Bishop Sewell's just recently said something else about this building. And so I thank God for whatever God is getting ready to do for us to be able to come together. Amen. And do what we need to do inside of the building. Amen. Um, preparation Amen. for us to go out and, and gather the people. Amen. And so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. Um, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Stay tuned, though. There's some more announcements for some ministry things that God is um, allowing us to do. Um, I don't know. Some of y'all know that um, I started a page called Our Marriage is a Ministry. And I, when I started that page with me and my husband, I thought that that was just going to be um, kind of like just like a storyline of you know, where we came from and where we're going and no, it's actually a ministry. Um, and God is getting ready to do something with that starting in 2024. So, um, I'm excited about what the Lord is doing and you know, everything that he is putting together. Um, I'm even more excited that I really yielded the right way. Let me say that. Um, because I ran for a long time and I knew God was calling me and I didn't want to do, I didn't, I didn't want to do it. Um, and I thank God that I've gotten to a point where I am very submissive. Um, and it has a lot to do with um, having a mother who prays for me, but having a leader who pushes me. Amen. Um, and so I, I thank God. Like my, my mother pushes too. And sometimes I'd be like, listen, mother, you know, sometimes when you have family that's close, you hear them, but you like, I don't want to hear what they're saying. Amen. And then God will send you an apostle Marshall who said, yeah, let me tell you, the Lord said that. I mean, she's so subtle and sweet and nice with her little voice. But it's really a power pack kick in the back that's, that gets you to do what God is calling you to do. Amen. But I thank God, amen, that um, he sent um, Apostle Marshall, amen, to, to show me what real leadership looks like. Amen. Um, I am so grateful for that. I am. I am so grateful for that. Um, and so I'm excited. I'm I'm. I'm, I'm I think I'm rambling on now. I think that's everything, y'all. I don't have anything else. Um, if there is anything anybody would like to say before we close out, this is one last chance to say it. Um, if not, we're going to close. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Uh, okay. Um, Minister David, the phone's getting ready to cut off. If y'all don't mind, I want to give him a couple minutes so he can call back because I, I want uh, Minister David to pray us out. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. He's getting ready to call back in a second. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. I just I keep putting him on the spot. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Trying to get us get us all prepared for what the Lord is getting ready to do. He is up to something. I don't know about y'all, but there is a there's a burning in my spirit. It's like on fire. Like I want to jump up and just start dancing across the floor. I'm gonna do it in a minute, but um. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. David's calling back. Praise on it, Pastor. 
Have a yes. Evangelist, you know, you will not be charged Evangelist, you know I'm a I'm a dance before we get off this phone. Yes, I am. An inmate at a Maryland correctional facility. This call will be recorded and monitored. Okay. If you wish to block any future calls at this thank you for using Global Tail Link. The one thing I'm learning is after I pray, I praise, and then I I mean after I pray, I worship and then I praise. Amen. That's that's what I've been Amen. doing. Putting a praise on it. I'm sealing what God is saying that he's going to do. Amen. Because I'm tired of, of stuff getting in the way. I ain't even going to say it's the enemy. Because I'm tired of stuff just trying to get in the way. Amen. After I pray about it. So I'm going to put a praise on it. And, and just stop it in its tracks. Amen. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So if all hearts and minds are clear. Um, we're going to turn it over to Minister David to pray us out. Amen. All right, hold on. Let's pray. Um, I, let me give y'all this good news. So this week um, has been a good week for us. Two of my, um, the two of the men I have, I have a nine-man prayer circle group. We get together every every Friday, except for the first Friday of the month, and we pray together. So it was nine. It is now seven because two of them has begun the transition to go all the way out the door to be home. Amen. Uh, one should be home Mama. in February. The other, one, the other one was a surprise to everybody. I don't even know where that came from. But uh, to God be the glory, um, we've been talking about a suddenly. And yes. suddenly has happened and in our eyes. And um, it's funny because we have now begun to it's been speak, spoken of all week long. How people are going to look back and say, "Remember that group they used to sit together right there next over there and pray." What happened to all of them? And I was just laughing. It was just funny. Wow! But I just wanted to let y'all know. Thank y'all for y'all prayers. Uh, God is definitely still moving, doing everything that we ask him to do. He is on the He is on the side of His people and yes. moving mighty in every aspect and area of His people's yes. lives. Only thing we gotta do is just trust him. Just trust him. him be God. Yes. Uh, um, Tuesday, Tuesday, I told y'all everything that we've been through will be worth it. Everything we've been through will be worth it. it will, the outcome will be worth it. Yes. God is doing a new work. God is doing a great thing. God is moving in ways that we can't even explain or we, we won't even be able to tell people how it happened yeah. but just say God. That's all we can be able to say. So, with that, praise, I'm going to pray as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, most gracious and most holy and mighty and awesome God, we come before your throne this night, oh Father God, to say thank you, oh Father God. We thank yes. you, oh Father God, for every word that have went forth tonight over this line, oh Father thank God. We thank you, oh Father God, for the day that you got us through so far, oh Father God. We thank you, oh Father God, for... Uh, just waking us up with, uh, with the activity, our limbs, oh, Father God, with our minds, oh, Father God, focused on you, oh, Father God. And, Father God, tonight we just thank you, oh, Father God, for every last one of our children, oh, Father God. Father God, we thank you, oh, Father God, for your grace and your mercy, oh, Father God. And we thank you, oh, Father God, because we know that you will keep us, oh, Father God, yes. throughout this night, oh, Father God, to rise again, oh, Father God, to do exactly what does say the Holy Ghost in our lives tonight, oh, Father God. Father God, tonight, oh, Father God, as we lay upon our beards, oh, Father God, let us meditate on these words, oh, Father God, that we heard, oh, Father God. Father God, let us, oh, Father God, hear new revelation from you, oh, Father God, on what it is you need us to do in this lifetime, oh, Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just ask you, oh, Father God, that you would bless the woman of God, oh, Father God, give her new word, oh, Father God, new revelation, oh, Father God. Bless every believer on this line, oh, Father God. Bless every apostle, every teacher, every evangelist, every prophet, oh, Father God. Every pastor, oh, Father God, that he may lead your people, oh, Father God, according to the way that you would have them, oh, Father God. Now, oh, Father God, to you who is able to do all things, oh, Father God, but fail. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. We're excited about what has happened. Amen. Hallelujah. Two have exited. Hallelujah. We give God glory for that. Amen. I'm excited. Hallelujah. The way I look at that for Minister David, they were close to you. That means you next in line. Hallelujah. I speak it into existence. I declare and decree. Hallelujah. You are next in line. Amen. For your miracle. Hallelujah. Because you just said something. You said one of the guys, 
Y'all wasn't even expecting for him to go. Look at that. Y'all wasn't even expecting. Nobody knew nothing about that. Hallelujah. And look at what the Lord did. A suddenly. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. So y'all know. I'll, I'll bring up, uh, my, 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 my good apostle has already <laughs> Yes. Yes, your good apostle uh, did. Apostle Marshall. Yes, she did. <laughs> she spoke it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We stand in agreement. Amen. That it is getting ready to happen. Hallelujah. God is not slacked on his promises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If he said it, he's more than enough God to perform it. Hallelujah. And can't nobody do it like he can. Hallelujah. <laughs> can't nobody do it like he can. That's the beauty of it. Hallelujah. Nobody. Nobody can do it like he can. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Did somebody say something? Yes, ma'am. I was saying to the man of God that when he did it nine to now. So that means that he's done it. And when you say that God said that means completion. So guess what? You all will all go on. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remando Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. My God. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Because you're going to leave a mark. <laughs> My God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Even when Elijah left, he left Elijah. Amen. Yes. Come on, Jesus. Mm. My God. Mm -hmm. My God. I just keep seeing the flames. I keep seeing the flames. When you leave it, you, you leave it in the mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Mm. Mm. A lot is resting on you. Yeah. I'm going to change your God. <laughs> Mama. Mm. Jesus. My God. My lamb. Yes, Lord. My lamb. Yes, Lord. Mm.
Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Woo. I don't know about y'all, but I feel good in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Y'all know. It sounds like somebody's still praising. Come way back. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Woo. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is worthy. He is worthy. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Worthy is the Lamb. <laughs> Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Um, Alexa, play Bishop Younger. That's what we're talking about. Alexa, play the Storm is taking over at Bishop Younger. Jesus. Y'all hear this? The storm is passing over. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's for you, Minister David. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. That part right there, it won't be long from now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just wanted you to hear that part right there. It won't be long from now, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, y'all, we done cut up. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know if y'all heard what Apostle said, but she said... That is seven left because two of them gone on home or preparing to go home, but it's seven left. That means it's complete. Amen. That means it's complete. But when he brought y'all together, he brought nine together. Nine is another form of new, something new taking place. Amen. So he brought y'all together, and the new thing that took place was y'all getting into the presence of God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, y'all. Minister David then prayed. Amen. Um, and so we can we can go on now. <laughs> I feel like we at church lingering on after a service. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, it is something about the presence of God. Amen. We on the phone and he's still here. And we lingering right here with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am just, so, I'm excited. I, I am so excited. That just blessed me real good. Amen. That blessed me real good. Apostle, Apostle you was, what you was singing? Apostle, uh, I know she was saying something. She was talking about where she's been for four years. And then she, then yes, y'all went in. Yes, exactly. But what I was saying was because the Lord had brought it back to my remembrance. And that's why I said God, God will make you laugh. And God do things in ways that we wouldn't have had. And for me, that's why I said that was that it's such a joy because I remember. When I moved here and I've been living in this apartment, like I said, it's coming up in four years in December. But as you were talking about the two that left and then the seven of completion, when I turned my face to look at the window, I remember looking out my window and I said to God, God, where are the men at? I asked this question to the Lord. I said, because God, you made man first. And we need the men. The women are in the house of God, but where is the men? And the Lord said to me, in the prison. Mm. Uh, wow. That's what he said. And so when he said that to me, I said, well, God, if they're in the prison, he said, in the prison, because those are the ones that are strong and not afraid. And, I, and so for me, it, it's the coordination is that, that what God told me then, that's what's about to happen now. And I never would have thought that I would be on a line where someone that in the prison is speaking as powerful as you are. So I know God is like you said, God is moving. Because Amen. there's going to be a great relief of the men for the prison to come and do what, what the men that's been free have not done. So it's going to be where the last will be first. Amen. And the first shall be last. And I just, it, it, it just, you know, God just brought that thing right back to my memory. And that's why I know this is this is divine for us. Yes. Because I wouldn't have ever imagined it. Because mm. that was something that God spoke to me when I first came here. And, it, and, and it's been two years from that statement. Now it's going into the fourth year. So there's got to be that release. And Amen. And God released them for what's next. My God. This is where y'all got to take up the baton. Where the women have been doing it, now the men are coming. Yes. Oh, so I'm just grateful. Mm. Just grateful. Because that's where the real army is. <laughs> yes, Lord. Oh, my God. So I, I, I yield to you, man, to God. I yield. I yield to you. Because I see the fire. God God doesn't have to allow me to see the fire and 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 the anointing that he's placed on your life. Amen. But I'm grateful that he allowed me to see it. And I'm more grateful that I'm on the line because of something that I asked him then is manifesting now. Amen. So God to God be the glory. Mm. And he chose you. <laughs> <laughs> And he chose you. Come on here. Wow. I told you, when God showed me your husband had a door in his chest, God said, I'm opening that door. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm. That's amazing. My God. That's why this is all ministry coming. These are the, the Samson's and Joshua's and the Caleb's. They coming for the Nehemiah's. Mm. Mm. Wow. Because mm -hmm. they come, they going to be the builders. And they come. Amen. Uh, already equipped. <laughs> Jesus. Equipped. Already equipped. Mm -hmm. My God. Amen. Mm. 
Jesus. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. <laughs> so, you know, the day when I came in, uh, I, I should have been on here about 7.05. So I go to turn the tablet on, and the phones on the tablet aren't working, so I got to get out of the cell. And I'm like, oh, my Lord, come on. And it's the wrong, I'm like, it's the wrong person on the guy said, mm, get him up there. So I called the guy, the officer up, and said, can you let me out? This tablet's not working. I need to get on the phone. I he immediately opened the door. I was like, okay. Let me in the D room. And I came in. And the first time I called, I don't know what happened. The phone so hung all of us up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it answered it hung up. And I'm like, okay, what is going on, God? So I'm sitting there. I'm just thinking it's all mute. And I said, Ty, you're going to realize it in a minute or something. This phone is, I'm, I'm, she can't hear me. I can't hear her. So I'm talking God to no call back now. And I said, okay, God, but I'm on the line. I was going to send you a message. So I said, mm. okay, God, I'm just call back. Call back, and I'm like, okay, I was never on the line. But to God be the glory, because I knew it was something that I needed to, I needed to hear tonight. It was something that I needed to hear tonight. It was some things that I needed to hear tonight. And, and, and including when I got there to the Word, but how much God is love, and how we use, how we can't use our tongue to, to, to curse and bless me. Right. You know, I, 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 I am so, I, I, I'm so perfect found it like that is one of the things that's been on my mind is like I mean, how would I use my, my tongue you know how would I well, make sure I don't say nothing wrong about people but make sure I don't talk bad about people and there's been some situations that's been going on and I just every time somebody's saying something about it I gotta walk away because I've got to remind myself you can't speak bad about that no matter how what it is you can't speak bad about that mm. so I just walk away from the situation so I just thank God for his direction, his order on the well steps, because uh, I know that he's only he's only doing these things that, that we ask. Nobody else can do. Nobody else can see that it is so. But the God that we serve. Amen. And, uh, uh, so I just thank God continuously for all that He's doing. Uh, not only on His mind, because He has truly been a blessing. Like um, Mom was there too. My mother was there too. Uh, and that was a blessing. Like she was like, yeah, I heard it all. I heard. I, I got on there late. I said, no, you wouldn't really trust me. Right. You might have been here. And she was laughing. And she was like, oh yeah, when I heard it, I heard everything. I heard my loud sister. I was laughing. <laughs> so I just thank God. <laughs> mm. she, I, I said, my, I, said, I, I thank God that you were you able to hear some of the things that were going on. Yeah. She was like, yeah, I was like, that is good. So I'm like. I'm just thanking God because God is doing uh, such a great and mighty new work uh, in the lives of his people and, and, and it's transforming and, and I love what Apostle said tonight where the men, the men are in, in the prison in the University of Jesus Christ getting armored up and prepared to come out and take over the streets with a shout of victory. And then, yes. You know, so, so we're coming. It, it's just we got a little more preparation to, to, to do. We're, we're being polished up. We've been mm. on the wheel, and now we're going into the oven to be to be to be purified. Come so on, we come out. There won't be no going back. We'll keep our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Stored in our robbery to pit us into a prison instead of pit us into a graveyard to come back mm. and come back and to take back what the devil thought that he stole. Wow. And we're taking it all back. We're taking Jesus. It all back. Ah, thank God. And I was, I, I, it ended up amazing because Joseph, 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 like you said, Joseph had to go into the prison. Falsely accused, but in the prison. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he learned to trust. He learned to trust and be one and only true God. When, they, when his friends said, I got you, Joseph, the ones that he, he told was getting out, I got you, Joseph, and, I'm going, and I, I ain't going to forget you, but he went and forgot Joseph. You have 60 seconds remaining. Joseph had to begin to learn to trust God and that God was going to be the one that bring him out of this situation. And when the time was right, he came forth with power, and he was the one who saved the whole world mm. at that time. Mm. 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 Something happened in the name of Jesus. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and you're on to something with that. You have 30 seconds remaining. I'm going to just call back. I'm going to just go ahead and call back. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
You might as well just call back. Yep. <laughs> uh uh uh. My God. Yeah. Jesus. God is awesome. So awesome. Yes, he is. So awesome. So much revelation. Yes. So much. Yes. It is so much revelation right now. And God's doing it. Jesus. Wait a minute, hold on, he calling back. Hello. Prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call is from an inmate at the Maryland Correctional Facility. This call will be recorded and monitored. If you wish to block any future calls of this nature, thank you for using Global Tail Link. Hello. Yes. And as I was sitting, as I was sitting here right now, and I'm sorry because I, I was just sitting there. God just said, he even think about that Peter. Peter was put in the prison between prison guards so the enemy could kill him. Oh my God! The enemy should have killed him before. But when he killed James, he could have. He better have. Should have killed. Peter. When he killed John, he should have killed Peter. Because the worst thing he could have did was let Peter have to sit. Because when he sat, God had told him some great and mighty things, and the church was doing something. The church was doing something. The church was speaking to God and praying, and they received a blessing at the door so much that the lady, the, the girl, when she came to the door, said, yeah, they, I'm tripping. She, she, said, she said, I was, she, I was, she said, she's tripping in, in our words, and we're going to use our modern day. I'm tripping. Right. Peter here praying about this. And I, I'm thinking that Peter had to do it. Peter had to in the prison. But God said, no, he sent the right thing they was praying for to the door to show them that he was God Almighty and mm. that he can do everything. Wow. The only thing we got to do is pray. So God God has definitely had us in, in a place. God is in a place right now. See, what, what the enemy should have, should have, he should have did what he came to do, still kill and destroy. But the fact that he didn't do it, God said, look what I did to Job. I brought Job out. I brought Job out of all that nonsense. Mm. And guess what? I gave him back everything that he thought that he lost. And God said, I'm about to do the same thing for my children. Wow. The only thing they got to do is just wait for me. The only thing they got to do is trust me. That all part. they got to do is pray. Yeah. That's what that was about. See, that's what that was about last week. This uh, past Pastor when I was sitting there on that bed, and I was thinking, and God said, mm-hmm. I got to tell you, it's all going to be worth it. Everything that you've been through will be worth it. It's going to be worth everything it. Everything that you've been through is only for the good of me. Because I'm going to use you and I'm going to make you a great, uh, I'm going to make you mighty. I'm going to do things in your life that you never thought you would do. Yeah, yeah. But, you, but I, had, I had to hide you in the shadow of the most high. I had to picture where I could speak to you, where I could talk to you, where I could build you up, where I could teach you something. Yeah. So that you can go out there and teach others. Mm. Amen. Oh I, I, Amen. I, told you, I, 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 I believe I told you before, one of the stadiums in Baltimore City or Washington, D.C. is going to get filled up and people are going to come in the droves and get saved. In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, it's about to happen. Mm. It's going to happen. My they God. They're going to swear at the concert. They're going to swear at Jay-Z in it. they going to swear. But I tell you, it's going to be a whole Jehovah, that's what it's going to be. He's going to be there. He's going to speak my name. <laughs> my God. My God. Wow. I'm telling you. Mm. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, I, I just, I know. I just want to serve you. I thank God for all. Like, like we said a couple of weeks ago, it was only meant that I'd get here and I'd be the Tracy Center so I could be the Tanya Center so I could be the Apostle Marshall. So Come on. Come on. If I wouldn't have been who who would say I would have ever ran across you? Mm. My God. So look what God about to do. Yes. Uh, like I told you, I told you the building is coming, but you're going, you're going to need a big parking lot. I keep telling you, you're going to need a big parking lot. You're going to need a big parking lot. And you're going to be, and you're going to need more than one service. I can tell you this much. I didn't seen this before. I didn't been, I didn't been a new psalmist when they was up on uh, Emerson Avenue when they was on the old Frederick Road. Mm-hmm. And they, used to, they had a big parking lot where the bus had to bring you. You gonna need a parking lot like that. You gonna need mm-hmm. something like that because God. And, 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 and with every service right now, they gonna be back. They gonna be rushing to get in the next one. My God. Tell us, God is about to do a great thing. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, and I Jesus. told you, you gonna all the. 
You're going to need the best audio, video equipment because it's going to be spread across the world. Mm. The universe, I love the universe is going to turn into this. The mm. universe. I'm telling you, it's coming. My God. And it's going to happen. Jesus. Just got to stay at it for more. Just got to stay at it. My God. It's important to stay at it. And I'm not lying. Sorry. I tell you, my Lord. I tell you, and, and the thing about I love about the most God said it ain't gonna be no big eyes and no little you. Said I'm I'm, I'm going to they said they're gonna be everybody gonna come in and they're gonna be seed and they're gonna be like one. Amen. They're gonna come in and they're gonna say they're gonna be they're, they're gonna feel the need of the community. I, mm. I see the I see the Jesus. The church the church is gonna get the church is gonna get back to being servants. The church is going to get back to being served. Mm-hmm. And they're going to look at that mm-hmm. house as a family. They're going to say, what is going on there? And people are going to say, they got service there. What do you mean service? <sighs> yeah, these are the people that serve God. They don't serve their pocket. They don't serve their self. They serve God. That's mm-hmm. My Lord. My Lord. Jesus. I'm just telling y'all, mm-hmm. it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And I can feel that presence. That, that word is true. And that's coming out of his spirit. That has nothing to do with David. But I can feel that spirit of God. Speaking through your, through your temple. Oh, mm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's funny you even said this thing about Job because I was just in Job 13 mm. and 13. <laughs> <laughs> I was just over oh, here. God is mm. just, he is something. And that's why you do spirit, no spirit, and flesh, no flesh. And that's why I know that this is the word of God because I just wrote about Job and why God even tested him. Mm. And he told Job, if he had told Job, what was going to happen? Job would have went another way. But he had to allow that to go. Because to go through the, the affliction that Job went through. Because it wasn't never even, even about the pain and the suffering. But it was about him trusting God that they do So you are, that's why I say, man, this man, his spirit is speaking. I don't even know you, man, to God. Just point his mouth. But I know the spirit. Amen. And it's bad with me. Ha, 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 And even when you said it's bigger than the building, she said the ministry was named something without walls. Mm. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. that's why. Uh-huh. And that's why. Uh-huh. And that's why. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that's why, because when God did stuff great, that's why he wasn't in no buildings. He was in the field. Huh. Mm-hmm. And the fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Because it was the building couldn't contain the people that came. Uh-huh. And our Lord uh-huh. in the field. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So you uh-huh. speak uh-huh. that that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Virginia. Um, and so last 
just hear the Lord dropped it in my spirit. Go to Baltimore and meet with the people there and get yourself set up for 2024. And that mm. is what we've done. My Lord, the truth about wall will have plenty of space wherever y'all choose it to be. And the platform will be there, the stage and everything. My God, how do you hear your Lord Jesus? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Close that. Oh, my God. Get ready. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I thank you. Mm. <sighs> I was sitting here. I am sitting here. Mm -hmm. I am sitting here. I listen, yeah. this, 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 this song, I, I know you this song I've been listening to. Uh, the first six words of the song says, Your waited time was mm. not wasted time. And if I write that sentence, mm. yes. says, Your waited time was yeah. not your waited time. The time that you were waiting on God Woo. was not wasted time. My God, do you see how everything. See, you was waiting. See, we've been waiting. I've been waiting on God. We've been waiting on God. And God said, mm -mm, I wasn't wasting time. I was just picking things together. I was just orchestrating. I was seeing this person and that person. Ooh. This person. 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 And, and, and I'm, I'm sorry, the day of Pentecost, the day the church began in the book of Acts, when they on the church, when 3,000 people in one day, he said, what I'm about to do, he said, see, there were, he, people were about to come out of addiction, they see, I'm about to bring people out of addiction, I'm about to bring people out of homosexuality, right, I'm about to bring Oh my oh God! God. God. Yamande ko shamando ruko na mandele baso yamande. Iye ne mandu kuru na maye ne baso yamande. Iki mandu ruko shamande. Oh God. Ana mandu kura mandele baso yamande. Iye ne bako yamandu kuru na maye. Saya mandu kuru mande. Iye ne mandu ruko shamande. Iye baso. Father God, 
Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 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 Hello, hello. <sighs> I, I was just being quiet. I was just listening. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I just thank God for answering prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. He's answering prayer. Oh. Who would ever think that the true ecclesia would be in, the, in, in, in my own backyard? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Mother, I find it only this time to thank you. I thank you. And I'm going to tell you why. You really, you are an amazing woman of God. You really are an amazing woman of God. Oh, no, God, God, we're there. God, we're there. I, I just, I, but see, they all, I, 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 they talk about their friends, but it, 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 that is the, 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 the true identity of a woman of God, a praying woman of God. And, and, and for years, I, I always, always, I remember my grandma, for years she would pray, and she would just pray. And she would pray. And she would pray. And, and, and she was praying for things that we didn't, I didn't even understand it at the time. But she was just praying for her children that they would get to know him in the way that we're getting to know him now. And I know they were your prayers. I know what you were praying about. And, and I know at times it didn't look like it. But look what God that wronged in them now. Look what they that came out to them. You have, you have, you have done well, and I just, I, I honor you tonight for that. I honor all, I honor all you women. All, I, I always give y'all honor because y'all are truly worthy of it. Y'all have took, y'all was the devils, y'all was the devils that was needed to lead the people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know that I was a devil. Deborah, I was a rebel without a cause. I did <laughs> anything and everything that was not <laughs> ah, that was not godly. But when he snatched me up, hallelujah. Uh, when he made me realize, uh, when he made me realize that um hallelujah, the things that I was doing was affecting uh, my children and my husband. Uh, I'd have hurt. I'm, I'm not making excuses, but out of the things that, that I had to deal with, hallelujah, my flesh, my flesh was all up in the way. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. 
But um, but when I uh, when I realized and the Holy Spirit told me that their lives was in my hand, oh, oh, oh yeah. mm. Mm. Uh, what a didn't, want, I didn't want their blood. They didn't, didn't want their blood on my hands. <laughs> didn't want their blood well, on my hands. And then I had, I had to find out about God's love and His mercy and His grace. Hallelujah! And through His word, when I felt out, Hallelujah! Oh, how much He loved me when nobody else. When I thought nobody else did, when I didn't love myself, mm. hallelujah. When I found out that he loved me so much that he sent his only son, mm. hallelujah, to die, mm. hallelujah. The mm. every sin that I had committed, mm -mm, mm -mm. I may have slowed down, but I told him, never will I walk away from it. Hallelujah. I may walk away from the building. Hallelujah. Linda Linda will leave the building sometime. Thank you. No. Yeah, but no. I'll never walk away from that. Never. He's done too much stuff. Hallelujah. Done too much. I may slow down. Sometimes I may even shut up. Hallelujah. But I always talk to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, to God be the glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been telling God that all week long. I won't turn back. Yeah. I won't oh, turn back. I'm in, a, I'm, in a, I'm in agreement with them. You are not going to be in there long. Mm. I heard you earlier today before even anybody even said anything. And I had the phone on mute and I was just coming in the door. And, uh, and when I heard you, I said, I just patted my, I just waved my hand. I said, hey, you ain't even going to be in there long. <laughs> and, then on, mm -hmm. and I thank God for the confirmation because they came back with the same thing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, 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 yes. <laughs> I mm. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. That's what we need. We need. I, we need. We need. I, 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 I told Pastor Simpson. I don't think. I'm sorry. I, I told you. I told Pastor Simpson. I said I don't think they know what they're getting back. I don't know. I don't know if these people know what they're getting back. I said this ain't the one that went in here. This definitely him. No, he got. It. But the one that's coming out, mm. he's scared me at times. Oh, God is so awesome. He is so awesome. Hallelujah. Hopefully tomorrow at 12.30, because I know y'all start at 12, I will be able to attend again tomorrow. I will try, I will be there if, 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 these, if these tablets are working again or or if I have to come in this day room I will be there um I, th I thank God for y'all I love y'all I, I, I do amen um, <laughs> I, uh, mm -mm. I, I thank God for that, that 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 good Friday night that I sat there with Tracy on that phone <laughs> and I just got to listen in mm -hmm. and I've been hooked since that day <laughs> mm. Oh my God! Mm -mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> you ain't checked. I'm about to say I said she didn't check that, <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> I that phone is probably going to turn it. I I love you too, brother. Yeah, I, I checked out for a minute. I had to gather myself. <laughs> yeah, I just. Said, I understand. It could be a, it could be overwhelming when God shows you everything he's, he's doing. Um, yeah. So yeah. Just know if He brings you to it, if He brings you to it, He's gonna walk you to it. Amen. When He brings you to to it, He's gonna walk you to it. Amen. And, and, Amen. And I am just sitting here. I I, I just had Walter Hawkins song changed in my uh, in my mind. So that was that. Is that Jermaine? It's one of them. Wonder Hawkins. What a wonderful I think it's Jermaine. Thing. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think it did. I think Yeah. It's what a wonderful change when Jesus came into my life. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, we definitely thank God for you and we are continuing to pray. We are excited and anticipating your release. Amen. Because it's coming. We thank God. Um, I thank God for your tenacity um, to be on the line and, and just to even, um, you know, to to be open to what the Lord has been doing through all of us. You know, I really appreciate you um, and the push and, you know, being obedient to telling me what the Lord is saying. Um, you just confirming everything that I keep hearing and I, I keep trying to run and God is like, you, you can't go nowhere because everybody's going to tell you the same thing. So, um, but to God be the glory. Amen. I've, I've jacked, I've yielded and I ain't no more running. You know, I got to do what he told me to do. So I'm excited. I am definitely excited about what God is getting ready to do. Um, amen. And for you to be a part, you know, you my brother, my, you my ace now. <laughs> You're not Tracy brother. You're my brother. <laughs> but, um, yes, I'm excited. Amen. And I definitely will have the phone. I'll be available to get you on the line tomorrow, too. So, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Amen. I will make sure I'm there. 12.30 sharp. All Love righty. <laughs> okay, brother. Have a good night. Love you. Amen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Nobody but Jesus is all I can say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, amen. Amen. Um, I'm excited. Um, Evangelist Harley, are you still there? I am. Okay, so I didn't even know you was coming to Baltimore, but to God be the glory, you got to make sure I get the dates and everything because I didn't know. I haven't set a date yet. I'm waiting for the Lord to give me the date. Oh, I okay. I the contract, and I told, I told Sister Lydia about it. I hadn't spoken to nobody about it because I was waiting for a confirmation, but tonight was it. The Church Without Walls, you you are the founder of the Church Without Walls. So, uh, surprise. Woo! Woo! My God. behind the scenes with the city of Baltimore and trying to open it up over there, as you know. Amen. Um, and it's time. It, it's this time. So, Amen. Um, Amen. Make some noise. Come on now. With praise and worship, it's, it's got to happen. So. Amen. We're going to sit down soon before the end of this year because then uh, we got to set a date then now for sure. Um, we'll pray about it, of course, but that's that was a surprise. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that was that was a good surprise. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have everything. I have a copy of everything for you in a Manila envelope. Um, I made four copies because, of course, this is a team effort um, for the Lord to build kingdom. Amen. Um, so I have a set of everything that was given to me from the lady that I met with at the city in Baltimore. Um. And just everything is on there, so we'll sit and we'll just go through it. It's it's so much easier than Hampton, Virginia, and way cheaper. Amen. So I'm excited about that. Lord, praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Well, to God be the glory. Amen for the great things that He has done. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, I'm going to say what I said to Apostle Marshall earlier. I said, you know, because um, she was like, well, you said that God was, somebody was going to testify. I said, yeah, but I didn't know it was going to be me. Like, I didn't know that I was going to be one of the ones that be the partaker. Although I was expecting it. I just, I guess I didn't expect it this soon. But I mean, hey, to God be the glory. But um, yes, I, I am, I am definitely. um Appointed time, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time management, appointed time, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Apostle said that earlier too, yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 prepping you guys, getting you ready, hallelujah. 
getting to somebody, uh, guys, evangelist, getting evangelist Harley mm-hmm. together, hallelujah. <laughs> My God. Hallelujah. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I am, um... <laughs> Isn't he amazing? He is awesome. He is so amazing. Yes. Yes. He is wow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. So to God be the glory. We're gonna close here. I thank y'all so much for joining. Mr. Simpson. I love you, babe. Thank you for watching. And we will talk about this really soon. I love you guys and there's absolutely nothing any one of y'all can do about it. Have a good night.